Now, wakati ambapo unangangana kujirekebisha, kujimprove, you are struggling to improve yourself, to work on yourself, then make sure the power that backs you is always on point. That is where we pray. Daniel was a leader of the country, of the nation. True, he was a politician. But we know it is not what he knew that he depended on. But that three times a day, opening the window and praying facing the Jerusalem, that was the power that was behind him. Hallelujah. When Daniel is told that they are going to kill all the wise men on a, on, in the country, everybody that had knowledge was going to die. But them that had a power backing them, they said, oh, give us until tomorrow. And they went and they pray. God is good. When they went and they prayed, God gives them the exact dream that the king had had. You see, everybody that had skill, everybody that was a professor of government, that had a doctor, doctor, in, a, doctor in governance, they were going to die because they could not tell the king his dream. But because there was a power that was backing Daniel, he could leave, set himself apart. I said, my fellow governors, let me go. And he goes and prays. Take care. That is the power that powers him. Take care of your prayer. You see, Daniel, a senior man in government, had a covenant of praying three times a day. What covenant do you have? Because you're not yet the governor. What is your covenant? <laughs> the governor of the land had a covenant of prayer three times a day. And that was powering his governance. What is powering you? Covenant. Please, we are supposed to pray all the time in our hearts. But you are supposed to have set times where you stop everything and face God. Talk to the Lord as a man to the Father. 